Coming to us from Calgary, Alberta, and live here on Fight Network, Hard Knocks 46 went down Friday, featuring a battle for the vacant Hard Knocks Bantamweight title as hometown favorite Jesse Arnett took on Dimitri Wardenberg. With Big Cat immediately going for the takedown, it wouldn't be long before Arnett secured the submission. Arnett uses this as an opportunity to try and gain the back. He's got the Darce Again. choke. He's got the Darce choke. Jesse Arnett trying to win the title with the Darce choke here on Dimitri Wardenberg. There's the tap. Jesse Arnett is your champion at 135 pounds. Getting the Darce choke just 129 into the first round, Jesse Arnett becomes your new Hard Knocks Bantamweight champion. Just 28 days since his last fight, Byron Phillips took on Battlefield Fight League middleweight champion Leo Xavier. Takedowns were the difference in this one, with Xavier getting the better of the positions. Phillips, however, managed to keep it close, getting the better of the striking exchanges and remaining aggressive. In the end, it was left in the judges' hands, who saw it in favor of Xavier, who now improves to 3-0. Also on the card, a battle of well-traveled vets as Curtis DeMars took on Dia Grant. Following a takedown from Grant, DeMars would use the fence to get back to his feet, where he would secure a takedown of his own and take the back of his opponent. Once there, DeMars would unload a barrage of strikes, signaling the end of the fight. Trying to use the strikes. This is where DeMars wants to be, landing some big shots. Dia Grant's in trouble, referee right on top of it. This fight is over. Curtis DeMars, your winner, and he hears it from the Calgary crowd as he postures up on top of the cage and picks up a win over Dia Grant. In the lightweight division, Hard Knocks alum Michael Neal looked to make it two straight, taking on up-and-coming prospect Alexi Argerio. Following some nasty elbows along the fence, Sexy Argerio would secure the back of O'Neal, looking for the rear naked choke. The rear naked choke is in, the hand is out, and there's the tap. This fight is over. Alexi Argerio, the winner here over Mike O'Neal. Alexi Argerio saying, look, he didn't even damage me. And uh, again, the future extremely bright for this young man. He's got a ton of skills, great body type, and just beat a guy who's very tough. Getting the submission win, Alexi Argerio improves to 3-0. Opening up the televised card, the lone women's belt saw Ontario native Lindsay Garbat taking on Valeria Meja. Garbat showed off her hands in the opening frames, as well as a good takedown defense, punishing Meja with some heavy strikes when pushed against the fence. In the third, Garbat would look for the finish, going for a takedown and landing some heavy ground and pound. I gotta swarm this girl to try and finish this fight, but she's being calm, getting the takedown right up in front of us and landing these big shots now. Adam Cheetah right on top of the action, and he has seen enough. That is gonna be a big win for Lindsey Garbat. This fight is over. Lindsey Garbat, your winner. A takedown and a ground and pound victory. Valeria Mejia put on a show for this crowd, standing in front of Lindsay Garbett and taking everything she had. With that, Lindsay Garbett gets a TKO victory, improving to 3-1.